You defy lamb. You defy lamb. Now the work you did do. All right, uh, Begos. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my page. Okay. Okay. However, you found this video. Thanks for a reason. <laughs> We're going to have six months it's going to be very exciting for you in terms of your work. You're going to take so much pride in your work. Your work is going to be showcased. You're going to be like, now I work with that one. That's my work. Like, you're going to be so excited to show up your handwork. work. And this, it, this feels like it's finally coming on the tail of you having to do a lot, having to put in a lot of hours having to commit extraordinarily to your expertise saying okay you, you are going to be the best you are going to be the best you are going to become the industry leader and you guys are on that you're on the road <laughs> i don't know there's just this excitement that does just bubbled up as i as i was like okay there goes the video all right so let's get some more gist about um let's get some more gist this is going to be your next six months in relationship let's see how uh, your relationships are changing what you need to do to better show up for yourself in your relationships and what blessings are coming in but really it's pretty just like now nah, i work with that like that is our work that's our thing that's my thing that's my thing <laughs> all right it's pretty nice what's coming in for virgos over the next six months in relationships <laughs> Queen of Wands, and then you've got Six of Cups. Okay, so as you know, I'm not, I'm not a tarot reader. I don't read tarot. I get messages. But I use tarot cards. Um, I don't know why I have to give you that. It's like you guys also need to do some explanation. It's like in your, in your industry, your genre or your niche is different. It's something you've carved out for yourself. So it may be like you're borrowing things from different parts of your industries or even from different industries, different sectors, and you're making it into one. And there's really no box to put you in. It's just who you are. So it's like your work is part and parcel of who you are. Your work is now part and parcel of who you are. And like it cannot be separated. It's like you've become, you've raised the standard. You've raised the standard. You've created a blueprint in your industry that is forever, foreverly like magnetized to you, foreverly as your name across you. Like so, if people use it, if people use the strategies, if they use the toolbox, if they use the blueprints, if they use any of these things you've created that people might try to create after. People might try to leverage. There's always going to be that distinct flavor that shows that this is something that so 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 and so Virgo created. All right. So what I'm saying is like there's just a lot of wish manifestation, and then your relationships, your intimate relationships are also coming up for. Your intimate relationships are also coming up for review. So for a lot of you, um. If you've not seen the overall message I did for Earth Science, make sure you watch that and then watch this, okay? But if you're watching this first, make sure you go back to watch that after this. This next six months is going to really, really make you believe in yourself in a way you've never done. Now, what Spirit is saying is I want you to believe so much in yourself that you are sure of yourself you're able to master everything and especially like what i'm saying like in your intimate relationships so you guys in your intimate relationships in relationships that are very personal to you that are very dear to you that are very close to you you guys may be in a period of separation right now okay so for singles even for married 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 persons <laughs> both in married all status even for married persons okay there's something about there being a distance between you and your partner so even if you live in the same house you might be emotionally distant from them at this time you guys are not saying eye to eye on some issues you know your love is not in that honeymoon phase there's just a bit of distance for those of you that are singles or in long distance relationships or you've not met your partner there's something about this separation that is going to be closing over this next six months but the closure of the separation is going to rely heavily on you being able to trust that everything is working out for you when you being able to trust in your partner or you being able to trust in the 
vision in the life you're trying to manifest it's not going to come about by you casting doubts anxieties worries frustration onto this relationship no it's not going to come about by you speaking and saying no oh, they've not done this no in fact if you have if you're already married and living with your partner what i want you to start doing being very conscious of over the next six months is the fact that i want you to start speaking positively so even if they're doing things that annoy you don't say oh this person is very annoying say that okay this person is learning this person is experiencing this person is changing this person is trying to figure out their way instead of saying oh this woman is so you know okay this woman she loves me and she's trying to show me the best way she can this person, this situation that is not resolving is because it's in divine alignment. It's going to come. There's also something about divine timing. So over this next six months, over this next six months, I want you to hold strongly to the vision of what you want your relationship to be. Don't let anything shake it. If you've not, if you're not with your partner now, I want you to hold strongly to that vision of being in a very happy, committed relationship where both of you are in sync. It's like you can hear each other's thoughts, like you can hear each other's words. Between you, the chemistry is crazy intense. But it's not going to happen if you keep wavering between doubt and anxieties and fears like, oh, can this ever happen for me? Can it happen for me? Will this person love me? Will this person be able to show up for me? No, it can't happen that way. You have to, if you don't have a vision but for a relationship, or immediately you watch this video, as soon as you can, I want you to go create a vision but for your relationship. Put on it pictures, quotes, words that showcase the kind of relationship you are you want to have okay so if you want your partner to be romantic if you want to be romantic put pictures there that showcase what romance means to you if you want to go on this particular vacations with your partner if you want your partner to be doing some particular things put images that represent what those things are what those qualities are make this your screensaver make it your screensaver on all your devices if you want print it out place it somewhere you can be seen every day i want you to focus on those images coming through in your life because there's a lot for you here to manifest but you're only going to be manifesting if you are clear about what you want okay so get clear on what you want in your relationship and start manifesting that by bringing yourself into alignment with it bringing your thoughts bringing your words bringing your actions bringing your dreams and your desires into alignment with your vision and then in six months time this separation is going to be gone and you have be to close that tighter bond with your partner in a way you've never had before in a way you've never had before let's get some more clarity on what's causing the separation right now okay so yeah so right now there's something about maybe you are focused on your goals and that's you are focused on your career goals on your work goals you are focused on yeah there's something you're expecting that is, that is not making you want and then you know very because you guys can be very like turn out vision if you want something nothing is going to change you nothing is going to distract you so it may be like right now you are being very focused on feeling like focused on achieving on getting to this destination there's an expectation that you're working on that is not making you give the time you guys will be seeing 666 as well as 266 that is not making you give the time to your relationship this might also be the reverse this might be like um your partner is on being or being focused on being focused so much on their work being focused on what they are trying to achieve, being focused on something they are working on that is not making them want to maybe share with you or be with you at this time, okay? So vice versa. So it could be you, Virgo, or it could be your partner, but that's what's causing the separation between you guys right now. That's what's causing this emotional distance. So there's something about in six months' time, I can see the way it's trained that hour. In six months' time, it's going to be whoever is the person being focused on their work or their career and it could also be both parties okay it could also be both parties you guys are extraordinarily focused on your work your career you're trying to do something you're trying to achieve something extraordinary you have expectations there's a destination you there's this mark you're trying to reach is going to be feasible but on the other hand don't 
forget that this is impacting your personal relationship so for you to improve your personal relationship do a lot of vision bundling do a lot of manifestations do a lot of affirmations do a lot of visualizing your manifestation so that it's not like you get to that end point and there, there'll be nobody to celebrate with you do you understand and there's something i'm also being guided to tell you yeah you're yeah, being very stressed right now for some of you, you may also have like third party interferences people whispering things in your head that is making you feel like maybe you cannot achieve what you're trying to achieve okay but there's luck here jackpot fortune that's why i said like the don't try to focus so much on your work that the end when you achieve this when you get to this destination when you complete this project there'll be nobody to celebrate it with you and that's going to be very very sad because the people around you they're not being true to you is this your partner that you are currently emotionally distant from <laughs> They are the ones that have your true intention at heart, and they are the ones that can celebrate with you, and they are going to make your joy feel fuller. Okay, so there's something about jackpot, fortune, luck, reward coming in, and this is coming in because you'll be able to achieve this. Oh, I'm not messing up with the audio um, output and input and stuff. Okay, so you are going to be able to achieve this, but you don't want a situation where you are going to be celebrating alone. No, that's not going to be nice at all. Okay so don't allow anybody to get to your head don't let anybody get into your head there may be some third party interferences be very careful also be very careful about who you talk to about your relationship not everyone has your genuine intention at that so it's almost like be very quiet about your relationship the only person that should know what's going on is just you and your partner and god you, your partner, your God. So be very careful. You guys may also be experiencing a lot of headaches because you just want, it's like, you are also telling yourself like, oh, when I achieve that, you know, I'll be able to go show my person like, oh, baby, I'm sorry. This was why I couldn't be with you when I could, when I wanted to or when you wanted me to. This was why we've not been close. I've been trying to work on this thing. And for some of you, this may be your partner telling you this. So it's like over this next six months, as you're working on this project, as you're working on this creative project, on this idea, on this thing you're bursting, don't let your relationship slide down to the point that when you get to that point, when you get to that point of crossing the goal of achieving the mark, there'll be nobody to celebrate with, okay? But this is someone who is going to be with you. This is someone you are going to be celebrating with. They're going to be having a lot of investments, a lot of fortune coming in that is going to can you see? So you guys, you are going to grow together. It won't make sense if you feel like you grow all the way, then you suddenly invite them in. No, it would be nice if you carry them along, okay? all right so there's a lot here around you being distracted i'm also saying like being distracted by things around you news around you disturbances around you the ways you've always thought things right some of you just be very very careful of people you talk to about your relationship even people you think are your close friends be very careful about the things you say and when course is here again course disturbance Okay. My sweet Virgo, some of you may have third party people who are maybe people you once dated or people you once were with or people who want to be with your partner. There's just something around disturbance from external figures. And some of these persons may be casting malicious intent. So I'm not saying they're necessarily placing causes. It may also be like people you are close with, maybe your friends that you talk about, and then they look at you with this jealous, malicious a malevolent look in their eyes that their hearts are not very their hearts are not very open towards what you're doing or your happiness so you have to be very very careful of that don't speak about your relationship to anybody but god over this next six months and then i want you to see how that significantly changes the outlook of your relationship okay so stay very calm stay very calm stay committed to your goals you guys are going to be fulfilling these promises so it varies so if you are the Virgo expecting your partner to come in they are coming in 
you just stay focused and keep quiet about it. You continue working on yourself, continue focusing on this vision, continue um, affirming this lovely, brown, lovely, wonderful, romantic, prosperous, fruitful relationship. Continue affirming it, okay? And then for those of you that are the ones doing the work, know that your partner is going to be there waiting for you. But this person is not going to be there if or your mind right now is currently clouded with a lot of doubts, a lot of worries, a lot of anxieties. You're allowing people to project fear onto you. Onto you. You're allowing people to tell you shit. You're allowing people to tell you stuff that, oh, no, people are not like that. You can't trust people. No. Okay? All right. So, as I said, you guys will be saying three, three, threes. Four, four, fours are also very, very significant for you. All right. Let's see. Final message for my two Virgos. Final message from Sweet Virgos. And I know, like, I was very fast and I covered a lot in this video. Um, go back, watch it as many times as you need to. Okay? Watch it as many times as you need to. So, you've got guidance system and infinite creativity. All right? So, you've got guidance system. Let, look, let your happiness be your GPS. Look at it. Let it be your GPS navigator. So you've got, I love using my emotions as a guidance system. They show me how close or far away I am from what I want. When I am feeling joy and doing the things I love, I am in a state of allowing for my desires. I notice when I am feeling low vibrational thoughts and I shift them to release resistance. So this, Spirit, thank you so much. They are going to be having very bad edits over this time. And I want you to understand that when you're having those edits, that's where you're necessarily stressed because you're trying to hold on to what you shouldn't be holding on to. Shift your vibration by shifting your thought patterns. Throbbing forehead, throbbing tension edits, raw head, frontal edits, okay? I notice when I'm feeling low vibrational thoughts, and shift them to release resistance okay so your low vibrational thoughts are the things causing you resistance on your way to achieving this your commitment on your way to fulfilling this completing this journey completing your fulfilling your expectations okay and then you've got infinite creativity at any moment i am able to tap into an infinite source of energy and creativity within me unique ideas flow through each one capable of blossoming into beautiful creations. All right, my love, they are telling me to copy you like a word is enough for the wise. This video is like packed full already, even though I might have spoken very fast, but it's packed full. You are going to reach your partner. You guys are going to grow through old age. And it's like even you being with them is going to increase your investment. It's going to increase your income. It's going to increase your assets. So stop thinking crazy and just be calm. Be calm and focus. Redirect your thoughts. Redirect your mind. Anytime you see yourself going spiraling into low vibrational thoughts, switch it up. Okay? All right, Virgos, I love you. That's your reading for the next six months in your relationships. If you'd like to book your reading with me, the link is in my bio. And if you've not subscribed to my channel or followed me, what are you waiting for? Make sure you do so you can stay notified of new videos, okay? And don't forget, if you've not watched your viral message for Ed signs, go watch that, okay? I love you.